the countdown is on to see whether efforts by the left or right to call for recounts in this year's presidential election actually happen. Key battleground states won by Clinton and Trump with close margins are in the spotlight. For comparison, the latest election tally shows Clinton winning Nevada by 27,000 votes, slightly larger than Trump's 24,000 lead in Wisconsin. The margins are fairly close, not as close as we've seen historically in some past elections, close enough that they could potentially trigger a recount. Neither state has a mandatory recount for close elections, though one can be requested. This is the problem with U.S. elections, is that we have 50 states, and each of the states have different laws which guide what happens in those states. Nevada's Secretary of State's office tells Fox News the deadline to submit a recount request in the state is November 29th, and none has been requested so far. President-elect Trump should not get involved in a Nevada recount if one were to happen, because even those numbers uh, of her win would, it would be a historical flip-flop and a recount. I think they should pursue it, and I also think that Stein and the Green Party should pursue it in, in the states they are pursuing it. The third party candidate is leading an effort to pay for a recount in Wisconsin. She's also pursuing the same in Pennsylvania and Michigan. I'm not really sure what Jill Stein's up to other than a little bit of a rabble rousing. I think even Ms. Clinton's camp and her general counsel has acknowledged that really if Ms. Stein wants to participate in a recount and fund it, They'll show up and they will uh, be part of it, but really they don't have any reasonable expectation that the results of the election will change. The clock is ticking for any recount to happen. We have a very narrow calendar because this all has to be decided by December 13th. And whether the states have the funding and whether they have the ability to get those recounts completed, if indeed they're triggered. Wisconsin's presidential recount is expected to begin this week, though election officials say they don't believe the recount will change the results. In New York, Christopher Snyder, Fox News.